Hi stamp friends, this is Susan with Stamp Creatively and this is like take 200 on the way to go to stamp set because I keep recording it and then I have no volume. And I'm not friends right now with technology, but we're going to do this one more time. Again, you know, it's great when it works and when it doesn't, it makes you crazy. So this is the way to go to stamp set. It's from the 2021 2020 2021 stamp it up annual catalog um and this is the playing with patterns designer series paper fantastic paper um as you can tell i've used it a lot i've got my little scrappies right here and then you can turn it over it's got great patterns it screams like fun cards birthday cards party cards um and right now we're all about a party aren't we i mean we're kind of done ready to party um, so let me show you what I did. And if you want more details, please just let me know. Again, I've recorded this about 87 times. 200 the first time, now it's 87, but maybe just really six. Um, okay, so what I did was I stamped um, our friend on here with the Memento ink. I stamped right on the DSP. You can see he has some bubbles underneath of him. These bubbles just made it simple for me to stamp in. It seemed like I spent a lot more time on the paper, on the project than what I really did. Um, I colored him with the smoky slate, light and dark. I put some, um, his flowers, the mango melody, and then he's got some um, light olive, so he's not a floating goat. And then the piece on the side is just the back of um, the DSP. I took a little piece down the side, and then this is the new bumblebee gingham. Um, I highlighted him with some of the champagne rhinestones. Again, Crazy easy to do and um, lots of fun. It says, happy birthday, you old goat. I got you cake, but I ate it. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I have to try it when I make a cake. I have to try not to taste it. So now I have a floating goat. I cut him out. I did a little fussy cutting on him. Just took the DSP and tore it, layered it behind it. And I used the Dainty Diamonds um, impression folder, but it doesn't show up that well on camera. So I did my favorite way with a new folder. I did it on some foil. So this is the champagne foil with the Dainty Diamonds. This is the Seabed. They're both 3D folders, which is fantastic. After I finished with the goats, I played with the whale, and that is a video for in a few minutes. Then um, I added the pretty little, the butterflies. And these are the butterfly gems. And they're in last year's ink colors, but I just added them straight to our friend, the goat. I colored him um, in Heather and Posy and several different um, shades of lavender. Again, this DSP is so easy to work with. It's got lots of great fun colors in it. Okay. Then the last one, I stamped him on the DSP also. Um, and then I used the um, Purple Posy Blend. I used, it has, this is ground. So I used the ground and stamped it down there. And it says Way to Goat. So on those three cards, I used absolutely everything in the stamp set, um, which I like to do. Again, some stamp sets you work with and you go, I got nothing. And this one was really easy, especially with this designer series paper. So I will add, um, I have a picture I will add to the video, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I enjoyed coloring these and I can't wait to send them. All right. Have a good day. Thanks.